All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you with the debut episode of Andycade. And boy, do we have a good episode for you guys today. So, uh, for the debut episode, I decided to uh, start off with a Steam game, uh, just to get things going and to see if I can even do this, really. Uh, so today we're going to be playing some Honey Pop. It's a very popular game on Steam with all the Let's Players. I think pretty much everybody in their brother's already done a let's play of this so um let's get cracking huh so i'm um, gonna start a new game uh we're just gonna do this guy down here okay so i'm gonna start as a male and there's gonna be some exposition on the, the first episode because friggin people gotta explain shit show yeah Oh, okay. Uh, let's see what we got here for responses. Uh, uh me. Hi, hello. <sighs> this is terrible. Sure, middle one. What? Who me? Yeah, you. Okay. Uh, top one, I guess. Well, you're talking to a now champ. <laughs> My name is Q. Nice to meet you. Hey, Q. So, this game's already starting off pretty Japanese. Uh, so I'm just gonna ignore the fact that Q is actually nine in Japanese and just be like, You mean like the letter? Nope, not like that at all. It's the number! Are you gonna be alright? It looks like you're having some trouble holding it together over there. Uh, what are you, my little pimp ed or something? Nah, I'm cool. What do I mean? I mean, I can literally see you sweating through your shirt. Come on, it's fucking summer in Japan! Everybody's sweating through their damn shirt. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. I gotta shower and stuff. Or you could just stop being so weird about it. Hmm, wait. You know what? This might actually work. Yeah. Yeah! Oh man, this is your lucky day, buddy! Listen, okay. I gotta go, but we'll meet again real soon. Trust me. Night! Okay, okay cool. I'm gonna go grab a drink. Or not. I was gonna grab a drink at the bar, but uh, <laughs> that's not happening. I'm just like, fuck it. I'm going home. Oh, shit. Rise and shine. We've got work to do. Rise and shine? Bitch, it's fucking... Said, get up. Who the... It's fucking Sunday night. I got work in the morning, lady. Get the fuck out of here. Am I gonna have to pull the covers off? <sighs> I'm in that weird part of Japan again, aren't I? Ah, uh, yeah, definitely gonna call the police. Chill out for a second. You'll be glad I showed up. Don't you recognize yeah. my adorable face? No. <laughs> it's Q from the bar. <sighs> Yeah, you had the brown hair, also not the wings, and the stuff, okay. Clever disguise, right? I can change my hair any color I want. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's called hair color. Hair dye. Whatever. I love fairies to be Fairies! Okay. Um, fairies aren't actually a thing. I, I mean, like, actual, like, magic fairy people. Anyway. <laughs> Misconception. I that fairies are indeed a thing. You see, as a love fairy, it's my job to help poor sap like oh, you boy. out with the ladies. It's just well, what I do. I don't like to brag, but I'll have you know I have a very impressive track record. All of my previous clients are basically walking babe magnets now. Who you wrote know. this script? <clears throat> Let's just say you will be my greatest accomplishment yet. Oh, Jesus. Not sure how it's making me feel. Like, am I, like, the worst or what? Uh, yeah, what is in it for you? Man, you and all the questions. Can't a fairy just help a brother out? <laughs> you need to get started right away. Tell me, how many oh my God. have you been on? I definitely gotta fucking check the credits, see who fucking wrote this glorious script. Uh, Jesus. They really paint me out to be a loser, don't they? Also, who has candles on their bedside, like, surrounding their whole bed? That's just... 
It's Fire Hazard Central. Jesus. I'm surprised my room isn't going up in flames any minute. But anyway, uh, let's focus here, Andy. Okay. Uh, an amount. Yeah, that sounds like a thing. Okay. Oh my god. It's worse than I thought, isn't it? Wow, you totally phoned in that line. Right now. Someone has to show you the ropes. I know a place nearby that's open pretty late. You'll love it. Or not, I don't care. Okay. It's fucking Sunday night. What place is open on Sunday night? I mean... Alright, cool. So... Alright, I'll try to make this quick. This is the date pin. These little pieces are called tokens. You earn affection by matching three or more of the circular tokens horizontally or vertically. For a successful date, you have to fill the affection <sighs> meter before you run out of moves. Lots of exposition. Ahead, give it a shot. Match those orange ones with the crescent shape in the middle of the grid. Okay, I do apologize. There's a lot of exposition going on in the first episode because there's a lot to explain. So, um, uh, let's see. Okay, so the crescent, middle of the grid. Oh, yeah, these guys. Okay, cool. Bam. See? Easy. Magic. Each of the four types of affection tokens represents a particular trait. The orange ones represent romance, blue is talent, green is flirtation, and red is sexuality. Pay attention to which trait your date prefers. It will go a long way. Of course, matching four or five tokens will get you even more affection. I'll show you. Match those four sexuality tokens in the bottom right of the grid, the red ones. Mmm, boy. Gonna be shooting that sexuality all over your body, girl. Bam. Sweet. Okay, what's next? Oh, right. I just like how non plus she was. Like, match those sexuality tokens. And then she's like, sweet. Cool. The higher her passion level is, the more affection you'll earn. The gold bells are joy tokens. You'll get an extra move by matching those. Very useful. The broken heart tokens are bad news. Seriously, avoid matching those as best you can. Mm, Finally, boy. the teardrops are sentiment tokens. Matching those gives you, well, sentiment. You need sentiment in order to use date gifts. Lots of exposition. And seeing as how you don't have any date gifts, I'm guessing I need to explain that too. Here, I'll hook you up with one of mine. It's on the house. Magic teddy bear! Like said, you'll need sentiment to use it. So go ahead and match those three sentiment tokens in the leftmost column, the teardrops. Left. Oh, right. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Okay, now go ahead and give that date gift to me. Give me the date gift! Give me my bear back, bitch! <sighs> Magic. Cool, huh? There are like a ton of different date gifts that you can get, too. They each have a unique effect on the date and can be extremely useful in combination. Oh, <laughs> and thanks to a little fairy magic, you'll never actually lose them. So you can use them on your next date, too. <laughs> Is that cool or what? All right, all right, I've gone on long enough. Thank God. I'll let you finish up the date so you can get the hang of it. Oh, and don't worry, I won't let you fail this one. I'm not that mean. Okay. So, <laughs> now I can talk with less exposition. So, just to uh, sum up what she said, uh, matching the little joy tokens gives you extra turn, and uh, the idea is to get, like, passion and sentiment. So, you use sentiment to use the date gifts, use passion to increase the uh, amount that you get from these little tokens and stuff right here. And, uh, yeah. So, it's basically like, if you guys have ever played, like, Tetris Attack, Kirby's Avalanche, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Kirby Star Stacker, basically the same same concept, you match four or more of the same token, except with this one, you also try to avoid matching these guys, the Broken Heart tokens. So, that said, let's get it on. Alright, so, yeah, up the passion, increases that, okay, cool, cool. And, uh, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, yeah, bam. Alright, cool. Extra turn, awesome. And bam, okay, increasing the passion level, it's good. Uh, alright, let's get that sexual morality token. Oh, we got a little sentiment chain going. But sentiment is really useless unless you have date gifts, so if you ran out of date gifts or whatever, don't even bother trying to get it. You, you don't really get any points or anything, you're just wasting your time, really. So, uh, let's see. Uh, we got 
here we go. Uh, oh shit, <laughs> damn. That's a fucking chain if I ever saw one. Alright, get that going, get this guy going. Get this guy going, alright, cool. Up that, there we go. Alright, get this guy going, okay, cool. Still got ten moves and we're like over halfway there. Alright, let's fucking, oh shit. Let's rock it. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. Up the passion. All right, cool. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. I'm trying to find something. My own balls. All right. Okay. All right, cool. I was just I was worried about the hearts there, the broken hearts there. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get these guys going. Uh, huh. Bam. Let's see what else we got. Okay, next turn for the lulls. Some more passion. All right, cool. Up that some more. All right. So we're increasing the passion levels. Yeah. I really don't want to do that. So. Let's just, uh, let's free up some stuff. There we go. Well, this is kind of... Mm, Alright. Mm, oh, here we go. Duh. <laughs> Alright. I can't do the talent there. Jeez. There we go. Okay, we're at max level passion, so you can stop doing the passion stuff for now. We've got three moves, jeez. Alright. There we go. Bam! Two moves on the clock, okay. Uh, there we go. Oh shit, multipliers! Woo! Great success! High five! Okay, let's do it. Getting that fucking hashtag money! Yeah, I was a little worried there for a second. <laughs> Normally the demo thing goes pretty smooth, but uh, yeah. Oh shit, it's morning already? We are way behind schedule. Okay. Bitch, I haven't even slept yet. One last thing to give you, and this is important. Oh my god. Introducing the latest in love fairy technology, the Honeybee 4.0. Nice. The honeybee is an essential lifeline for any player on the go. It <laughs> automatically player. registers the info of new girls you meet and can even track their location. You can Stalker organize the inventory, much. buy new gifts, upgrade your traits. It's awesome. We don't have time to go over every feature, but you're hey, a big You can figure it out. Yeah. To access the honeybee, all you have to do is right click at pretty much any time. Or if you're weird, you can use that button at the top of the screen. Go ahead, break that bad boy open. Yeah, give me one of these bad boys right here. Bang! Uh, looks like all I got is a dirty magazine and some tissue. Yeah! Okay, great. I think that's it for now. Let's get out there and talk to some broads. <laughs> Let's talk to them broads there. Get them flappers going and watch the talkie. Yeah! <laughs> um, so basically I've been up like all fucking night, so I really don't want to fucking do it. I just want to chill, play some games, go back to sleep. I said, let's go talk to some broads. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. Hell yeah, let's do this shit. Yay. That's what I like to hear. Now if you want to meet a hot chick, you gotta go where the hot chicks are. I've done some scouting and I have a few ideas of where to start. It depends what type of girls you're into. We can check out the university, the mall, the gym, the park, or the nearby cafe. What'll it be? Well, looks like we'll find out the choice next time on Indiecade. See you there. Bye bye <laughs>